I think people think you're lazy because sometimes you don't announce what you're doing on Twitter or on stream sometimes. No, the lazy thing um, comes from two different places. But I think the lazy thing mainly comes from, believe it or not, I think I actually have a pretty distinctly separate audience of people that watch my stream and people that watch my YouTube videos. And over the past year, especially, as I've been flying out and doing a ton of interviews, a ton of podcasts, a ton of real life things, my streaming hours have decreased, but my YouTube quality content has dramatically improved, like my reach and my presence in other communities and everything. But if you only watch streams and you're not like a big YouTube um, like video viewer person, then in your eyes, the only thing that's happened is the amount of content I've done in terms of streaming has dramatically decreased. I think that the consumer behavior attitudes or habits of people that watch streams are dramatically different than the people that watch YouTube videos. And that's where most of the disapproval comes from. There's a lot of people that when it comes to stream viewing, they just wanna like turn on a stream and then watch for 10 hours and that's like their, it's like in the background of their whole day. They can they can listen while they work, it's in the background, they're doing shit, playing games, whatever, and it's just always there. And if you've been conditioned, because I stream a ton, I still do stream more than most people, but if you were used to me streaming like a year or two years, three years or four years, five years ago, then you're used to that. And then when my streaming hours start to decrease because I'm traveling a lot, doing other shit, then, um, yeah, then those people get upset and they think, oh, you're so lazy, you're not doing anything. Because for these people, they would honestly prefer like I could fly to the UK, I did, did I do five or six shows with Pearl in two days? They would have rather me streamed four days, 10 hours a day for 40 hours than done six shows that amounted to maybe 10 hours of content, if that. That's like the, that's, I think that's where most of the complaints about being a lazy comes from. What they really mean is your streaming hours have reduced a lot and I prefer that to higher quality YouTube hours is what they're really saying. It's your little sus ass. Little sus ass? Hey man, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I think sometimes people's idea of loyalty is just like they'll uh, protect people who are abusive. They'll protect people who are harming children. They'll protect anyone apparently, yeah, because their idea of loyalty is like, I'm gonna have your back no more than what. Uh -huh. Some people find that admirable. Me personally, I think it's irresponsible, especially when you got a platform. It's like you you co-signing somebody who's a scammer is harming your own fans. You co-signing somebody who who does this kind of behavior, like. It's all fun and games to somebody in your own circle. And then all of a sudden, now you got an issue. But you didn't mind when that person was harming other women. Or You're far from lazy. Hassan is the definition of lazy. Um, I mean, like, it, it really just depends on what we're talking about. Like, you can say that Hassan is lazy, but Hassan streams a ton. Or at least he used to, actually. I was trying to look up his stats because apparently I saw that tweet that Hassan made yesterday where he was upset because he felt like his viewership was falling. Um, and now I'm actually seeing that, like, apparently a lot of viewership is falling on Twitch. Um... Is it just XQC now? Who, what's another like big streamer? Over 180 days, um, I, I haven't followed Kai enough to know like if he's always been trending upwards. XQC is trending upwards a bit. Um, Kai is trending downwards quite a bit. Uh, Tyler one is doing okay. He's trending upwards for the first time generally every time I haven't watched this shit in a long time Like checked his stats. So maybe I'm missing something for the first time in a long time I don't know if I've ever seen Hassan on a pretty decent downward slope over 180 days um, His six month slopes are generally pretty good. I think even his year is flat now. Yeah, his year slope is pretty flat So this is probably what has got him concerned um, Also, I I don't think he's streaming quite as much as he used to. I think he complained about it on Twitter. Yeah, I saw, that's why I was curious what his numbers were, why he was complaining. Um, uh, Cause I, I think, I've, I wanna say that it used to be, it was 100, 180 days. I think his streaming hours used to be like 10 or 11 hours per day. Um, and now I see it's down to seven, but I don't know what else he does with his time. I guess he doesn't he have like three or four podcasts now too though. So I don't think, I don't think I would say he's lazy. Um, doesn't he? Or am I wrong in that? Doesn't Hassan do like three or four podcasts? Sounds like a model. Kind of, oh, okay, cool. The Ethan and Cutie one. I don't know. I feel, and doesn't he have one with Will as well?
or women in other people's families, right? Your friendship is more important than random women being hurt. And then they're going to try to tell you, turn around and say, oh, no, the red pill doesn't hate women. We the election to- will probably spike him again. Yeah, I think so. I think once the election is rolls around, he'll pick up a ton of viewers. But he's, I think Hassan is like a very hyper numbers fixated person. Like I'm guessing that he probably ties like a lot of his self-worth and everything into his numbers. So when the numbers start to slide, he probably feels really anxious about it. Also, something that's probably, actually, this is interesting. Something that would probably be really good for Hassan's mind that I don't think he's ever experienced before is being able to take a break lose your numbers and then come back and regain them is a really healthy thing for a streamer to realize because sometimes for um, sometimes for streamers, you end up in this weird world where you're really scared that if you ever take a break, you're gonna fall off and never come back. You get like hyper relevant very quickly and then you're worried that like you'll never be able to make it back. And I feel like a lot of streamers have that first like one, two or three breaks and then afterwards they're like, okay, I can take a break, I can come back, I can get my viewers back, it's okay. I don't know if Hassan is ever gone on break before. So when he starts to see his viewers slide, he's probably really nervous because he doesn't know if it'll go back or not because he's just never experienced that. I appreciate that, Destiny. All right, bye. Remember to hit that like and subscribe and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed.